Welcome back to another episode. This week we are going to explore the central highlands of Tassie and we're going to show you all of our favourite spots up here. It has just opened up and wow, what a view. We are on the bikes. First time in Tassie. There's a lot of firsts for Tassie. This is a first. We are mountain biking. Oh Not my very far. God, <laughs> you're way too excited. <laughs> We're doing way too excited. Doing spray tunnel. Is he spray tunnel? Spray tunnel. And we got torches. We bought torches because we're not dum dums. So why are you so excited? Because we're going to see glue worms. Oh, my clear ones. Who wears their dark glasses? I'm going to change my lenses to put my clear ones on. It's a tunnel. Yeah, well, who's going to wear the glasses in a tunnel? Oh, hit that one. in the shape of a keyhole because obviously the train that used to go through there was uh, with the big boiler on the front and that they had to carve it out so it all sort of fit through. It's a weird train wasn't it? It's different looking. <laughs> it was yes and it was for their zinc lead and tin or whatever they mined around here operated in the late 1800s but awesome spot stop check it out and we saw <gasps> glow worms. worms. Look I tried to film it on the camera I don't think it'll come up say. but um we actually saw glow yes. worms, so we're excited. That's we're happy. right. Tick off for us. Tick, tick, tick. So, yep, get to the Zihan Silver Spray Tunnel. Yeah, don't skip it. No, Definitely do don't it. Don't skip it. Do it. That's going to be a long way back up. Holy fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think we'll be doing that track, Kate. Okay? That is holy fuck. <laughs> 50 inch wheels to get up that bad boy. They're Can comp trucks. That's comp truck territory. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Can't believe people are used to do that. Bonus? We didn't have to ride up any hills on the way back. <laughs> we just wiped all hills. We had all the downhill fun and none of the hard work. So we just called into Zihan to check out the Silver Spray Tunnel. We got the e-bikes off. They're just behind us mm -hmm. for, the, for the first time in about six weeks, I suppose since we've been I in know, Tassie. Why haven't we had them off in Tassie? <laughs> they were awesome. We had so much fun. It's been bloody, the weather's just been on, off, hot, and cold, and we've been, we've been lazy. lazy. <laughs> lazy. So what did you think of the tunnel? Uh, it was it was actually shorter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, but they said 200 metres. I think it's 100 metres. Yeah. But, yeah, it's... but the biking was awesome. Yeah, it's got a nice little mountain bike sort of ride around it. We didn't hit the hard mountain bike trail. No. So we sort of just did the um, road out and then kept riding through the tunnel all so the way back around. you park at the golf course. Yep. You can park there because you really shouldn't yeah, take your caravan nice. in there. Not like douche that drove out with one. But anyway, park at the golf course. Right in, I think it was, we did a whole loop and it was less than six kilometres. Yeah, yeah. So, really? And, sorry, if you do the loop, 
you have only a tiny bit of uphill to start with and then the rest is downhill. Yes, yeah, so it's really scenic, a really nice uh, ride. Yeah. Well, we're in Zihan, the Silver City, they call it in Tasmania. Uh, there is a museum behind us. It's uh, $25 an adult to go in there. Um, we didn't go in. Unfortunately, it's getting a bit late in the day and uh, it's probably not going to get value for money for us. But um, we've enjoyed a bit of a look around and uh, taken a bit of footage of the old Zihan. As you can see, we're dropping down into Queenstown again. Look, not a town that I thought was super pretty or anything like this, but um, very different to any other town I've ever seen. And that's due to all the damage the smelters have caused. Wow, looky here. We are back in Queenstown. And guess what? It's raining. So instead of having sausages and veggies for tea, what are we having for tea tonight, Kay? Corn thins with uh, some of this bloody delicious Tasmanian honey that we got and uh, some cheese bread. Yay. Look, couldn't be bothered going out and cooking in the rain. That is one disadvantage of having the kitchen outside in our van. But uh, I don't think we gave you a look around Queenstown or where we camped at Queenstown. So I'm going to do that now. Come check it out. So most of the caravans camp over the other side. But uh, every time we've pulled in, it's been a bit too late and full. So this seems to be our favourite spot. We've come in twice now to camp here and once to drop the van here so we can go have a look around the town. So come check it out. It is super full tonight. This is a lot fuller than we have seen last time. And here we have the famous gravel oval. Uh, got some awesome drone footage of this, so check this out. The van's here tonight. Have you got one? So most of them camp over here. Okay, so there's about 17 of us here tonight. It's $5 a night to camp here. Like you can't do much better than that. No showers or toilets, so you've got to be self-contained. Um, there is a dump point just across the road, so that's really easy. And there is actually water access as well. So $5 a night, can't complain with that. And check out the view. Nice work, Queenstown. Loving it. just left Queenstown for the third time now. It's growing on us, Queenstown. Yeah, we weren't really impressed to start with, but uh, now it's like, oh, we really like Queenstown. It's, it does actually have some, a really nice scenic outlook with the mountains around it, it really does. Yeah, these mountains are beautiful, but as typical Queenstown fashion, it was rainy and cold last night. Oh yeah, it's always been like that. <laughs> Mountain bikers mecca, love it. Uh, so we're headed off to Derwent Bridge today. We're sort of coming back through a track that we've been, but we're camping at some of our favourite places. So we thought we'd just That's check right. it out. We might stop at Lake Burberry, is it? Yeah, I think yep. it might be, yep. Just for a look, maybe just check it out and uh, see what it's like. So what did we think of Lake Burberry? Oh, it's really nice. All their lakes in Tassie are beautiful. <laughs> it, the water's actually quite warm too, yeah, so. I didn't feel it. It was, uh, we could have ripped the paddle boards out, but uh, we're moving on. So scenic though, really scenic. Probably be a nice little camp here too, six bucks a night. Look, um, probably would have been nicer than camping on the gravel at uh, Queenstown, but it was five o'clock, it was late. It, this was, uh, Queenstown was yeah. easier. Que Queenstown's growing on us and the <laughs> gravel. What do you want? But we want to get to Derwent River. So we're heading up the hill to the bridge 
and see what it looks like. See, so she is. Woo! Where are we going again, Frena? Nelson's Falls. <laughs> I felt like we rushed it last time. It was raining and we sort of smashed it there and back. Okay, so we're going to go slow now. So I'm looking for a pink we're robin. Back at Nelson's Falls. I love these falls. They are just beautiful. And it is definitely a cool temperate rainforest in here because it is cool. Like my nose is cold. It's a, it's a little bit fresh. But this is the second time we've been here and both times we've actually had a moment like this that we are here all by ourselves. It's just beautiful. Just it, listen to it. It is magical to sit here and listen. Every tree has got green moss on it. I can't find one without it on it. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. What about that one? Now, they do tell me it does get cold up here, but we're back at Derwent River and it's freezing. Right. We have had two hot days, two or three hot days really. The last week's been quite warm. And we rock up at Derwent River. It's nice and warm. Me uh, shorts. Yeah, because you're an idiot. And we're freezing our butts off again. As soon as we got out, we pulled the big jackets on. I haven't had these on for ages. But we do love this place. It's just so peaceful. And there's so many people traveling at the moment and the lots we've talked to have said that they were coming to Derwent River. There's no one here. <laughs> I think they all go to the hotel, but they're missing out. This is the best spot out of all of it. So yeah, losers. They like the poop. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're off on Donaghy's uh, Hill Walk, or Donahays, I'm not sure how they say it. It's a uh, 40 minute return, 1.1K one way, level two walk. So it should be a nice little morning uh, siesta for us. Siesta. <laughs> Oh, there's a lookout up there. Donahue's Hill and check out that view. Yesterday it was so cloudy you wouldn't have seen any of this but today it has just opened up and wow what a view. But on the top side we waited five minutes and everybody else left and we have it all to ourselves. Yes, we do. How so awesome good. is it, Kane? So nice. It's an awesome view up here. Perfect day. Great view. Okay, you've got the heart condition. How hard was the uh, walk? Look, I had me blowing a little bit. I feel a little bit heavy in here, but it's all fine. It was good. Just take it easy. Like, not like I did. Not like the oh, start. He pumped <laughs> up the start. I'm telling him to slow down. What was it? 15 minutes, yeah, I reckon? Yeah, about 15 minutes. Yeah. And the way home's going to be easier because it's downhill the whole downhill. way. Downhill. It's what Woo! I read about. It was uphill here, downhill back, grade two, so it's not a mountain climb. So if you're in the Gordon Franklin wilderness area, yep. make sure you do this walk. Super easy and beautiful. I, I was saying, 
that there's probably somebody standing up on Frenchman's cap looking back at us going oh we're looking down at you and we're standing here going well he took two days to get there and I took like 20 minutes to get here so <laughs> you you pick which walk you think is better. <laughs> Two days, 20 minutes. I know which one I like. I know, but we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're not adventurers. Yeah. Okay, so we just ducked into Derwin Bridge to see my brother because we have a package. Okay, I'm gonna go. I wanted to get these before Christmas, but they were out of stock in the colors I wanted. I have two new will and win towels which is going to be awesome because we love our two that we have already but check out that one how pretty is that and it's the other one it's very nice too but i love this one but what we really have been looking forward to and needed was oops a beach mat and look at how compact that is and completely sand free so excited to try it out I am not happy. This is not what I really wanted him to do. But he thinks he can't find enough firewood on this side and he needs to drive across the river. So excited. Well, it's time to take Chris and Marsha to our favorite spot at Upper Pine Tier. This is one we found when we first got to Tassie. <laughs> gotcha. She's pretty dead, this wood. Burn mega quick. Burn real fast. It'll be hot. For sure. Now there is no doubt that Chris and Kane have definitely bonded over making campfires and tonight is going to be no exception. Tonight is actually our last night together so I am sure these two are going to make a campfire to remember. When we recorded this there was definitely no campfire bands in Tasmania at the time. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we haven't seen it. Oh, did you want a drink? What do you drink? Oh, I was going to have another Okay. What do you want? Another bitters. A ginger beer. I'll have a ginger beer. <laughs> ginger beer. We're camped at Upper Pine Tier, which is actually a private property, but the owner has generously let people camp here for years. Recently, however, I have just seen that this property has been sold and it no longer allows any camping, but you can camp closer back to Pine Tier Lagoon, 
Not quite as good as this, but still pretty darn good. I found two good pieces. No, this attached to a tree. So you might have to come and carry it back. Timber! Is that enough firewood? I did mention these two like campfires, didn't I? And when I say like, I mean they love and are obsessed with campfires. The campfire kings, I call them. We had plenty of firewood. They've been in it for about two hours and they nearly burnt it. So they had to go and collect some more. Check them out. We have got the biggest pile of firewood and I bet you by eight o'clock it's nearly all gone. Hold it just in front over here. No, don't Yeah, look at this, Chris. Well, the boys have outdone themselves. This is a ripper campfire and a great way to spend our last night together. Never ending fire. Oh, you got done a loop? Right, anyway, it's our last uh, morning with these guys in the background. They've been awesome to camp with. They're heading off from Tassie. We're here for another bit over a month, but I'm sure we'll bump into them again. Uh, lost off grid. If you meet up with them, great couple, say good day, and uh, we'll see you out and about. go it's gonna be a bit sad we've been meeting up with Chris and Marsha ever since Kangai in New South Wales and we just kept crossing paths all the time into the point where we became really good friends and we were actually choosing to meet up and we've spent um, a month nearly two months in Tassie and we keep catching up with them but uh, yeah they're going back to Tassie in two days time and um, then they're scooting straight to WA. So we probably won't see them. If we see them again, it might be like in June-ish. So uh, yeah, a bit sad, hey Kane? It is a little bit sad to see our camping buddies heading off. Yes, they are fun camping buddies. So we'll be on the look for some new camping buddies. So if you see us, please come say hello. We need some buddies to chat to. Quite sad to think this is the last time we'll be in this area of Upper Pine Tier now that it's sold. It's such an amazing place and so much wildlife in the area. Hopefully one day people will be allowed back in there to experience it all. But come with us as we head down the hill now and heading towards Hobart. Hope those brakes hold out. Catch you next week. So stop surviving and get lit.
love it when your GoPro freezes. You can't turn it off, but it still keeps filming. Yep. We do this several times a second. Hello. I get you in my footage of the lake. Yeah. Some firewood. Really? I'm talking here. No, they're trying to do a video over here and you're talking and getting into their video. I was gonna film you but I left the goddamn cover on it. <laughs> <laughs>